upon a time, there was a kingdom that was protected by a humoral and cell-mediated realm. This kingdom was ruled by a much laid-back king, and we'll just call him King B. Every now and then, an assassin pathogen would come into and invade King B's kingdom. This put King B in a very bad mood. King B would send in his macrophage knights to capture and kill these assassin pathogens. Then they would present all the evidence to the antigen-presenting macrophage knight. The antigen-presenting macrophage knight would go and tell the T helper chief of knights and say, Hey, look at this assassin pathogen I just killed. I think he may have accomplices to help. We need to kill the T helper chief of knights would make wanted posters to spread all around the kingdom and he would save the posters into the memory cell records just for future references. Being the boss he was, the T helper chief of knights would tell his T helper knights to go recruit other T helper knights from the cell T colonies. The T helper knights would go to the B colonies and inform them all about this assassin pathogen on their location, description, and how to kill these assassin pathogens. Once the B cell peasants had this information, they would split into two groups, a memory group that informs and keeps information on that assassin pathogen, and a plasma group to create antibodies designed specifically for that assassin pathogen. These antibodies would stick to the invaders and flag them. The B cell peasants can now go into their humoral B cell colonies to make sure they are prepared with antibodies and memory defenses. Their antibodies and memory defenses would spread all over the kingdom in hopes for a successful capture. Meanwhile, across the kingdom, the other group of T helper knights were traveling through the heart, the lungs, the intestines, the stomach and various shires informing these cytotoxic T knights that the kingdom had declared war against these assassin pathogens. The cytotoxic T knights would now need to make wanted posters and save them into their memory cell records while also going around doing their duty, which was going door to door checking each cellular house for their correct kingdom flag. This flag had to contain all the required cellular elements made by King B. Otherwise, the cytotoxic T knights would take their preferred torches, poke holes in them, and burn the house down to release everything inside it so everything was dead, no survivors. With the assassin pathogens all destroyed, the kingdom was back to normal, and this made King B very happy. Until, once upon a time, happened all over again. The end.